Hello. I've been I wanting like to watch this on the show spoons. for so long. What is this? The feeling of rust against my salad fingers is almost orgasmic. This reminds me of Marcel the Shell. Is it a girl or a guy? I can't tell. What are you guys having me watch? Who is this? Child, I feel like someone's gonna like I'm jump through the door and like murder me. About your spoons. <laughs> I see. Then I must leave. Oh my but god, this is so I'd like weird. To caress this rusty kettle. Like that's not creepy. It's like they stole my diary oh. and are putting it into videos. Today I'm having a, a little get together with my friends. Is it gonna be like all rust covered stuff? Is that his friend? Oh, oh no, okay. Finger puff, it's even better. Chaps. Hubert Cumberdale, Marjorie Stewart Baxter, and this is Jeremy Fisher. <laughs> the one guy with like the really ordinary name. Help me. Help. What a creeper. Oh my gosh, no, don't go in. Don't Got go to in. Fish. Don't He's go gonna in. Cook it in the oven. Can't reach it. No! He's gonna burn that kid alive. I can't thank you enough for the go. I'm so really disturbed right now, guys. Okay. Ew! I like it when the red water comes out. Oh I my like god. I like it when Why? the red water I comes out. I just out. don't. Yeah. Hubert what am I watching? Fancy seeing you here. Like, what is this? Uh, this is kind of like gives me nightmares. <laughs> that fish smells about done. The kid is in there! You're cooking a kid! That fish! That is really, like, weird, weird. What the hell was that, dude? That scares me every single time I watch it. So what was happening in the show? A whole cluster of random ass sh Well, the show's called Salad Fingers. Some creepy guy likes rusty things. I like rusty spoons. <laughs> creepy little guy touching rusty stuff. Creepy little pup is a peggle bear. Then he likes when the red water comes out, and then I think he ate a child. It kind of reels you in, like you... That was some crazy stuff. How did it make you feel while you were watching? Creeped out. Where's my inhaler? <laughs> oh man, that was just so weird. I can't get over how weird that was. First I was like, oh, this is cute. And then it was like, ew, that's freaky. Did you like the video? No. You've showed me some better videos. It wasn't bad, like that Cold Very D one. It's not really a like, it's more a, well, it was interesting to watch. It was funny. I love the video. I watch other videos just to see how like, intensely creepy they could get. How would you describe the character of Salad Fingers? Scary, someone I wouldn't want to get to know. Probably be a child molester in real life. He just seems so like lonely and just like sad. He needs a friend. Why do you think they call him Salad Fingers? His fingers look like lettuce. Because he's got long green fingers. He's obviously not a vegetarian, so I don't know why they would call him Salad Fingers. Why does he like to run his fingers over rusty things? I don't know, he's weird. <laughs> Maybe he has like a Fetish with rust. Maybe he gets a thrill out of it. He gets tingly in a weird place. I guess it's like a strange sensation. And then raw meat. I, I actually love touching raw meat. I'm sorry, I can actually relate to salad fingers in this one. Everyone needs to try this at least once in their life. This is like, this should be on everyone's like bucket list. Just like slap a chicken. Do you remember the name of any of his puppet friends? Well, one definitely looked like Jack Skellington. Oh yeah, he had a black friend, Jeremy. Jeremy Fisher, because I was the only one that was normal. I don't remember what what their names were, but all I can remember was like, I knew he didn't have any real friends. Can you impersonate his voice? No, I can't. I can't go that deep. I can try. Fancy seeing you here. I think I left a fish in the... Oven. Can I have your rusty pen? This computer is just so rusty. Salad fingers. Does it remind you of anything else you've ever seen before? Kind of looks like um, Invader Zim. Invader Zim and Courage the Cowardly Dog. Every time I see Paris Hilton. Something that would come out of a Tim Burton movie. It reminds me of Hostel. The guy who ends up being the killer, he's on the trade and he's like, the doctors wouldn't let me be a surgeon because my hands shake so much. And he's like eating like turkey breast out of his salad. The videos you saw were, are eight years old now. This was before YouTube. 
And it was one of the earliest like web video things, yeah. There's a before YouTube? I'm sorry, what? Why do you think this became one of the early internet hits? People are weirdos, bottom line. I think because it's like so unique. It's something like different. You don't expect it. It's a surprise. It's like a horror film. I don't really understand how all, some things get like so popular. You know, it's just luck, basically. Because it's TV quality. You could picture that on the TV and that was probably one, like one of the first videos that's TV type quality. It's a thing to like creepy and weird stuff because you're like, yeah, I'm cool. I don't just watch like Disney Channel. I watch creepy and weird things, so I'm cooler than you. The person that created Salad Fingers, what type of person do you think he has to be? He might have some problems. Very demented. I think he smokes. One of those people on Criminal Minds, but not the good people, the bad people. He obviously knows how to stir up emotions in people. And finally, if you met Salad Fingers and he invited you inside his shack, what would you do? Run. Run! I would start running. So I don't think he'd be able to catch me. If he did catch me, knock him out, break off his salad fingers. Eat him? No, mm, might have to. I would kill salad fingers. I'm not kidding. I would actually, like, I would be the vigilante. I would kill him. Thanks for watching this uh, creepy episode of Teens React. Let me know what videos we should watch next. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. With your rusty spoons. We'll be back soon, so make sure that you subscribe. Thanks for having me on the show, and I hope to see you guys again. I hope that the red water doesn't pursue me. I don't have a tetanus shot.